Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So there's a level up event going on, and I am about to take up my third six star to rank three. I already have Wasp and Corvus at rank three. They're both unawakened, but they're so useful that it was worth it to take them to rank three. Wasp, of course, is who I uh, ranked up in order to get Thronebreaker title. All right, so uh, pause the video and leave a comment. See if you can guess who I'm about to rank three, okay? So we're about to reveal it in five, four, three, two, one. Black Widow, Claire Voyant. All right, so while I am ranking uh, this champion up, I will turn the mic over to my other self in the shadows. All right, so I wanna bring your attention to that rank up gem there. That's what we're gonna be using, that mystic one to two, six star rank up gem. Uh, now, I thought about saving that gem for when I pull a Dr. Doom, but who knows when I'm gonna pull him and she can be useful to me right now. Uh, so I have the five star already at rank five and she is just so useful. And when I got the six star version and then I duped the six star version, her duped ability doesn't really uh, make that much of a difference, but it means that I can have a six star at rank three who is awakened, naturally duped. So that's going to help my prestige out. You know, maybe not a lot, but at least for a little bit. All right, now, uh, T2 alphas are becoming in rare supply, okay? And so having that rank up gem was huge. So I was planning this out. Now, look and see that I do not have enough of the tier four class catalysts. And I actually thought I had three. I didn't look very carefully when I went over to start opening these T4 class catalysts. Uh, and you'll see why that is significant in a minute. All right, so we're not going to do one at a time initially. So boom, I open up 10 of these and look at this, not a single mystic. All right, we need four. Now I open up another 10 and I get one mystic. Are you kidding me? Okay, here's another one. We've opened up 30 of these now. And I have, at this point, enough, but I don't remember that I had four. So I know I need eight. And you see, I'm saying I just need one more, just one more, because I forgot that I had four and thought it was just three. So I'm trying to quick tap it so that I can get that last mystic that I think I need. And just look at what happens to me. Tech. I have the most tech, okay? That's one of the reasons that I don't open these because I know that the RNG is going to give me what I have the most of, okay? Look at this, more tech. Yeah, I can't believe it either. I know, right? So, more tech, and that's gonna put a bunch in my overflow because I was already uh, kind of capped out, all right? Now, I will get a little bit of breathing room, and I was looking at that tech again, and I was like, please, not another one. Uh, I don't currently have the sigil, but I will get the sigil. That is why I get the sigil, so that I can uh, keep more of these. That increased inventory is huge, all right? So finally, we get that mystic. Now, at this point in time, I'm thinking this was the last one that we needed. Okay, so I go over and uh, uh, and I look and it shows me the arrow, okay? So I know that I have enough, all right? See that arrow blinking upper right-hand corner on her? But then when I hit the upgrade, I look and I'm like, oh, I had nine. So I was like, okay, well, whatever. All that, the last few single uh, rolls, we didn't need to do, all right? But now she is my 
third rank three six star and she actually affects my prestige all right so this girl here is so useful uh when i use her in alliance war she has great sustainability she's got immunities uh she's got good damage and i run suicides and she is very suicide friendly all right uh, now, I want you to see how much Mystic ISO I have. And you may have noticed already that I have a bunch. Look at this skill. I have a bunch that are going to expire. So I don't have an ISO problem. Uh, but we're close in now. She's almost all the way up. We're almost done, guys. Almost done. And uh, we will have a little bit of gameplay at the end of it. All right, and there we go. Boom. She is now maxed out. So here is Lord Shadow. Okay. So Black Widow, Clairvoyant, is now my third rank three six star. Let's take a look at my profile. Look at that. Now, you may notice... Or you may not, but my prestige went up a little bit. It was a uh, 767 before, but because she is awakened, she's the first rank three six star that I actually have awakened. She affects my prestige. So we're getting in there. She is, of course, my new top champion. There's Wasp at rank three. There's Corvus at rank three. And I still have Doom, of course, or a, a five star uh, 65. He's got such crazy prestige. Uh, and I forget who else I have, uh, in my top five, but they're also, uh, five star. All right. Let's take a look at, uh, her stats. If you want to just take a look, uh, what she looks like at six star rank three, man, that looks lovely. Lovely. All the utility. All right, guys. So, of course, we're not going to end this video without a little gameplay. So, now, let's do it. All right, let's head on over to Realm of Legends here. You can see I'm going in with just Black Widow. Uh, let's get a feel for her uh, damage and uh, all of that. But she has such utility. Uh, but we're not going to see a lot of her utility. But I'll show you uh, a few things, okay? So let's go ahead and start. Now she starts in that Curse of Blood mode where she's bleed immune, all right? But uh, let's, uh, first let me show you her heavy attack. See that? See the bleeds on him? She didn't have to make contact, okay? So her heavy attack is gonna put a bleed in Curse of Blood. All right, so let's uh, do a light attack now she is in her poison phase. Now watch the special two here. Look at his health, uh, his uh, power bar. Okay, so she has a little bit of power control on her special two when she is in this poison phase. All right. So let's try that again. Look at that. Okay, so that can be very helpful. Uh, in one of the Alliance Wars, uh, I took out a champion uh, on a node where he was getting a lot of power gain using that. All right, so now we go over to incinerate. And of course, in each of her uh, phases here, when she does a heavy attack, she does a corresponding damage. All right, now I got hit here, but I want to show you how much damage she does in incinerate phase. All right, that's her damage phase. So look at that damage. Now I am running suicides, and she is a great suicide champion all right now uh when we went to the poison phase we got rid of the poison debuff from our uh suicide okay liquid courage uh let's do another one of these real quick so you can just see some more of that damage all right now i'm gonna get hit on purpose Okay, let that bleed tick away a little bit. Get hit a few times. Come on. 
You can see she's taking some hits like a champ. All right, get hit on purpose. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a combo, but I'm gonna do a light ending attack. Now I'm in blood. Now watch this. Look at her health. In blood, when she does damage, her special two heals. And the amount that gets healed is dependent on how much damage she does. So if you have any attack boosts or anything like that, and of course, if you're running suicides, you're in there. Just look at her health. Beautiful. Got some crits, I believe, and did a lot more damage there. All right. Lovely. She has such utility. Uh, she is definitely one of my favorite mystics. And I'm very eager to see just how well she performs. Uh, I'm probably going to take her... Uh, I haven't decided if I want to bring her to Alliance War. Or bring her on the uh, Do Not Bleed, Do You Bleed uh, path in AQ that I take. Uh, I have the 565. And uh, I love her. I love her, man. All right. Look at this. We're coming down to the end. So let me show you her uh, special one. Look at all that bleed. And he's down. So she's pretty impressive, okay? And I have not shown you everything that she can do. Uh, she's got great applications. Uh, she's a great counter for a lot of stuff. Remember, she is bleed immune when she's in that curse of blood. She is poison immune when she's in that uh, curse of poison or whatever it's called uh, phase. And she's incinerate immune in the incinerate. The incinerate is big boy damage. The poison has some power control and the blood will heal. So she's got great sustainability, great damage. She is a very well-balanced champion. And I'm happy to um, join the ranks of those who have taken her to rank three. And I was happy when I duped her because I knew that when I took her up to rank three, she would affect my prestige. And she did. Um, it went up quite a nice uh, little chunk. All right, so that's gonna do it, guys. Thank you all for watching this video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. What do you think about my choice? Do you think I made a good choice? I do. Take care, and you all have a blessed day.